Hey everybody, it's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. It is Friday, March 3rd. Um, so, today what I have for you is something a little different. Um, and I may have showed this stuff to you guys already before, I'm not sure. I do have some whatnot bags and wallets. Um, and I don't have a fun box today. I have one coming, it hasn't arrived yet, and I'm saving it because we've got a big um, St. Patrick's Day collab coming up with a lot of different resellers on fun boxes. So um, when that box does arrive, I gotta save it for that. And I've been doing really good, you guys, at only ordering one box a week, um, trying to get caught up on listing and stuff like that. So, um, for those of you that don't know me, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, ThreadUp, The Real Real, and um, sometimes I do live auction shows on whatnot. I am currently floating the idea of doing a luxury only show on Tuesday night at seven. If I decide to do it, you guys, I will definitely um, give you a heads up and I'll, you know, show you all the pieces ahead of time that I will be selling in that um, luxury auction. So I, I'm sitting on so much luxury, you guys, it's not even funny and I, I've got to start moving some of it. So um, first bag that I'm going to show you guys, and I don't know if I have showed it to you before or not, but this is a Gucci cross body bag. It has um, a leather braided handle and um, it's in super good condition. There is a little bit of corner wear around the bottom, but that's to be expected with a vintage bag. Um, so this bag can be a crossbody. You can wear it like this. I am 5'3 for height reference. The other cool thing about this bag that I discovered, I was kind of playing with it, and I didn't know what these hooks were for on the side, but then I noticed up here that this comes off. So you can thread this through. And then hook it to the bottom there. And if I do it on both sides, Just bear with me a second because it's not like an easy one, two, three. Okay. So you clip it on the sides like that and it then becomes a shoulder bag instead of a crossbody. And I just thought that was the coolest thing when I figured it out. And also the claw hooks, you guys, are like a G. So... um. This is a bag that I had actually purchased for myself, but I have not yet carried it. I'm not gonna carry it. So she is for sale. Um, if anybody is interested in her, please let me know. Um, I, am, I, would, I, I am asking um, <clears throat> $2.95 for her. And it has like a magnetic snap closure and inside <clears throat> you do have your Gucci and then on the back, if you can see it, let me see, was this the one? Okay. On the back, you do have your, your number stamp back there. So clean inside, clean outside. Leather does need a little bit of conditioning, which I would definitely take care of um, before I sent it out. And again, there is you know a little bit of rubbing on the corners, which is to be expected with a vintage bag. I have not seen one of these come available since I purchased this one. So anyway, um, if anybody's interested, let me know. And I did recently, I did just sign up for PayPal. So 
Um, we can do a transaction offline using PayPal. So there's this Gucci cross convertible crossbody. It can either be crossbody or shoulder, whichever you prefer. And then I have, and I know I've shown you guys this Gucci before. I just love this Gucci nylon bag. It is absolutely incredible. The pull tab here has um, the G. We've got Gucci on the claw clips. So this strap is actually removable. So if you wanted to throw like an aftermarket um, silver chain on there and wear it as a cross body, you certainly can. Um, and let's see, I'll show you guys the inside. And you know, it's funny, mom and I have been binge watching The Sopranos and I swear to God, in one of the episodes, I saw Carmela, Tony's wife, carrying the same bag. Um, okay, so inside you can see it's really clean in there. And then here is your Gucci tab and then your numbers underneath. So, on this one, I would really, I mean, it's big. Um, I, would, I would really like to get 350 on this one. So if anybody is interested, please email me and um, we'll work out payment and shipping. Okay, I should probably just not worry about restuffing these while I'm doing the video in the interest of time. Okay, so that's Gucci. Um, this bag, oh my God, I absolutely love this bag. I don't know if I've shown it to you guys or not. This is C by Chloe. She is black leather and has fringe on the side, adjustable. Well, it looks like it's an adjustable strap. I don't, I mean, you could probably make it just a tidge longer, but this is really a shoulder bag. I mean, you could cross body it if you wanted. So anyway, it does say C by Chloe. It's embossed here. Um, It does come with a dust bag, a C by Chloe dust bag, which can actually be used as a, like a little backpack, which I think is pretty awesome, you know? So there's that. And here is the inside of the bag. And she is, oh, Frank, get out of the papers. She is gorgeous and clean. Oh, and she's also got her tags and everything inside here. Um, you've got your authenticity card. You've got your price tags. So she comes with everything. So for this one, you guys, I'm looking to get $150 on the C by Chloe. Gorgeous bag. Like I said, it comes with a dust cover and everything. Um, so if anybody is interested, please, please email me um, and we can work something out off platform. And then I have this Prada bag, this Prada nylon shoulder bag. And I know I've shown this to you guys before. I just never got it listed. Um, it does have Prada embossed in the leather on the side. Um, and pretty good condition. She does need a little bit of conditioning. So there's leather trim all around the bottom and the rest of it is nylon. 
You've got, um, and this strap is adjustable. I don't know quite how long it goes. You might even be able to cross body this maybe. Um, but you do have your Prada embossed on your thing. And then inside the bag, inside the bag you have your Prada here. And here is your little tag that proves that you are Prada. So it is leather lined around the top here and then inside and then it's got the the V word closure. Um great great bag. Um I'm looking for 325 on this one. So if anybody is interested, please please email me. We'll work something out off platform. This bag, you guys, is a Todd's bag. It came in one of my designer boxes. I have not listed it yet. Um, it's in pretty good shape. There is, it does have like, this is a coated canvas, so it does have um, like some scuffs and whatnot to it, but it's in great condition. Otherwise, I mean, the strap handles are leather. They're perfect. You've got the adjustable or removable crossbody. And then the inside of this bag, the inside of this bag is so stinking clean. Um, there's your tabs there. I mean, it does have, you know, it does have a little bit of boo-boos. There's a little pen mark, um, but your Todd's logo on the zipper pull on the inside. And we do have a, like a snap type closure that works. Awesome bag for you guys. Um, I would take $75 on this bag. Otherwise I'm listing it um, for 125. And uh, if it doesn't go on Posh, I will put it in my luxury show. Um, Todd's, Todd sometimes seems to sell for a decent amount on whatnot. Oh my God, I got a big mess here. Okay, so we're at 12 minutes. You guys, I got, a, I got Louis Vuitton luggage tags. If anybody's interested, I do have Louis Vuitton luggage tags for sale. Um, I don't know how much I want for that. So we will have to wait and see. All right, let's see what we've got. And I don't know that I'm going to go through all of these wallets. I have this Jimmy Choo, super cute Jimmy Choo wallet. I don't know on my wallet prices. I don't know yet what I'm asking for on these. Um, Because I don't have my cost of goods handy. Frank, you stop. He got something to chew. So anyway, I don't know my cost of goods yet on these wallets. But if you're interested, reach out to me. I will get you a price. That one is Jimmy Choo. So this one is Bottega Veneta. It is orange. Zip around. There's your inside. Now, the outside of this does show signs of use. Um, little bit of wear on the corners. I am gonna try to clean this up before I sell it. Um, but I just wanted you guys to know that I have an orange Bottega Veneta long wallet in case anyone is interested. If you're interested, reach out to me. I'll get her cleaned for you, lickety split, and sent out. <clears throat> oh, ho, ho, ho. and then we have Mini GG gray zip around Gucci wallet with a Gucci heart zipper pull. Zipper works great. You open it up. Inside is super clean. Even your coin pouch is clean. 
Again, I'm not sure how much I want for this. This is like a metallic gray. Um, you know, it does have some signs of use, but not a lot. Um, I love, love, love the zipper pull. So if you're interested, reach out to me. I will get you a price. Okay. Next piece is, and this is not a wallet. This is actually brand new in the package. This is a Dior, um, It's like a little Dior notebook. Let's see what it says. Yeah, it's just, it's a Dior notebook and it is brand new in the packaging. It is in giftable condition. Um, with this, again, I don't have a price for you cause I don't remember what I paid for it. So, if anybody's interested in this, let me know. And I will um, figure out a price for you. But I wanna get her back in the packaging. So this, I just think that this is just so lovely. And if you've got, a, you know, a woman in your life that maybe you don't know what to buy for. I mean, this, I just think is amazing. And then I have, this is a Gucci um, collab. And I'm not even sure who, it's. this too is a notebook. And I'm not sure who the collab is or what I paid for this or what I need to get for it. But it's a Gucci notebook, mini GGs. If anybody's interested, let me know. I'll get you a price. Oh, <laughs> I have this little coach um, wristlet without without the, the wristlet piece. Um, I don't know why it's in here with my luxury stuff, but it is. And I have Louis Vuitton. Um, edges are good on this Louis Vuitton. Open it up. Inside is good. And here's where your billfold is. Um, it is not... I am not feeling any peeling in there yet. You guys know Louis peels. I'm not feeling any peeling. So then let's take a look. It's got the Kiss Lock coin purse. And there you go. So um, excellent, excellent piece. Great condition. If you're interested, let me know. I will get you a price. Prada Nylon Wallet leather interior. This I would say is more of a man's wallet. Um, I don't know. I might even, I know I have one Prada wallet, men's wallet listed. I don't know if it's this one or not. I feel like it's a different one, but I'm not sure. So there's that. Okay, I have this Prada um, bow wallet in red. She desperately needs cleaning. Um, so I'm gonna clean her up. She's scratched up here. Um, but super cute inside. I mean, it's a cute wallet. It just, you know what? It just needs to be cleaned up. Now, On this one, okay, she snaps. 
this right here is showing somewhere. It should be gold and it's showing up more of a silver. Um, but anyway. Oh, God, I love this wallet. Vintage Gucci. This is, you've got your snap coin purse here. And then you've got your G that lifts up and you can get into the billfold part. A couple of bill slots. We've got credit card slots, super, super soft leather, gorgeous piece. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we have another red Prada. Just a bifold. Got a coin purse in here. Bill slots. Again, this one needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, and there, I did, did just notice that, that there's a little kind of separating right there. So, um, and then we have this Prada, which is like a Safiano leather. It's embossed with Prada. And then on the inside, you've got your Prada, your made in Italy, all of that, your bill slot. Here's your coin. Now, inside here, there is a little bit of a tear in the coin purse. Um, but other than that, it's great. Then I have this. It is Louis Vuitton. It is in the box. And we've got the little dust bag too. And what this is, is a key case. It will hold, what, four keys? Um, and you could slip a credit card back here if you wanted to. Um, but these are super important. If you guys are carrying keys, loose keys inside your Louis Vuitton bags, you are going to damage them. I'm just just telling you, you're gonna end up damaging them. So if you have a Louis Vuitton and you don't have a key case, you should think about getting one. Um, this one again, new in the, or not new, but it, it does come with the dust bag and the box. So there is that. I have a Louis Vuitton Epi Green International wallet. This is excellent. There is just a little bit of wear around here and around here. Can't even see it. This you can throw on a chain and wear it as a crossbody. Um, your coin purse is clean inside. This for sure, I know I would like um, at least 250 on. There's no peeling whatsoever. I mean, this is just a great, great Louis Vuitton epi piece in green epi. So there's that. Oops. And I have a pink Yves Saint Laurent wallet, pink leather. Another one that you can put on a chain and wear as a crossbody. It's got your Saint Laurent right in there. There is a little bit of wear to the gold tone here, but the leather itself is in such impeccable condition. And this is just an amazing, amazing piece. And there you go. 
It's clean, I mean, super clean. And like I said, you can, let me grab a chain right quick, if I can get to one. So I bought this on Whatnot. It's like a little felt insert and you can, you just slide them inside. So you slide that felt piece inside and then Look at. You have Yves Saint Laurent on a chain. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. And honestly, you guys, that's what I wear when I go out most of the time. I do wallets on a chain or a small crossbody. Um, I don't, I don't carry purses anymore. I truly don't. I don't have a need. Um, okay. So there's that. And I have this Navy Gucci, um, leather wallet. Zip around. She is gorgeous, gorgeous, no call outs. So for her, I definitely, definitely am looking um, for 250 on this Gucci wallet. Gucci embossed up here, it is navy. It's got a navy and red stripe down the back. There is a little um, thing here where you could put a chain if you wanted to and make it a wristlet, whatever you wanted to do. Um, but I do have this Navy Gucci available. Okay, another it's so another Louis Vuitton. I believe this one is listed in my Poshmark closet. This is the Sarah, get down Frank. I can't show the wallet, honey, you gotta go. And this is another one that you can put on a chain very easily. Um, your zipper works. You do have a little bit of peeling, a little bit of um, interior wear, which it's going to happen with Louis Vuitton, but um, you do got you got your Louis Vuitton zipper pull still intact. This is another one that you can very easily very easily turn into a wallet on a chain and carry it crossbody style. Now, one thing I did notice is there is a little bit of separation going on here, which is normal for these wallets. So um, make me an offer if you're interested. And I believe last but not least is oh, 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 this Gucci, this Gucci. It's in the box. And honestly, you guys, I don't know if I'm giving this one up. And if I do give this one up, it's it's going to be for... I mean, this is like, I mean, almost brand new. I don't see where it's been used. 
Um, you've got maybe a little bit of scratching on the hardware, but open her up on the outside, you have that. So you can, Frank, you can also put this one on a chain. So get down that. So with this one, I truly, really and truly did buy this for myself. Um, here's the back. So you've got bill slots, you've got credit card slots, you've got your Gucci there. And then, so on this wallet, you guys, I will let this wallet go for $350 if anybody's interested. I will let it go for $350. Um, so, let's see. I think, you guys, that's all of the stuff in this box. Um, and forgive me if I've shown you this these pieces before. Um... I really and truly couldn't, I didn't remember. And I wanted, it was important for me to have content for you guys, even though I didn't have like a fun box per se to share, I wanted to share something with you. Now, I will tell you that's not all the wallets I have. Um, I do have like another box of wallets. And um, I know I have another St. Lauren wallet I just don't, I don't, I, I don't, I'm not quite sure where I put it. Frank, you're getting banned. You're going to get banned. So anyway, you guys, that is my video for today. God, I've been on for a half an hour. Shit nuts. I didn't realize I went so long. Um, Let's see. Zach's coming home tonight. He's going to be home for a week. Woo woo. Wonderful things are happening for him. He um, is going to be an on-air DJ for his school radio station after spring break. And I guess there's an app I can download um, so that I can listen to him when he goes live. I'm so excited about that. Um, he has an interview this week with um, the DNR, which is the Department of Natural Resources, to, well, next week rather is his interview. Um, to work at one of our camp, one of the campgrounds close by. So I'm so excited for him. Things are really, really looking up. I'm excited to see him. I'm excited to hug him. I'm excited to spend time with him. We've got tickets to a Pistons game Monday night. So watch for me on TV, you guys, because we, I don't have floor seats. You know, I remember I'm a single independent woman with a child in college, but we do, I do buy tickets underneath the baskets, just a few rows up off the floor. They're very economical, and I really shouldn't give my secrets away because everybody else will run out and buy them up, but they're economical seats, um, but they are like right by the Pistons bench, right by the floor. I mean, I've seen Kid Rock there, Big Sean, because um, we, whenever we go, we typically sit in the same area and it's definitely a spot for celeb watching and you never know you might even see me if i you know i don't know if i'm standing up and cheering and the camera's right you never know um it's been a long time since Zach and i have been to a basketball game that was always our thing um i would take him and a bunch of buddies and we go down to the game have a great time go to dinner and you know covid put the kibosh on all of that so this is our first game um, since COVID. And, and another thing I'm excited about is <clears throat> where we sit. The last time we went, you have to walk down a lot of stairs and then you've got to walk up all them fucking stairs to get back out again. And I was real heavy. And the last time we went, I was struggling to get up those stairs. Struggling. Um, and now... I'm just so excited and anxious to see how much easier it is for me to take those stairs both up and down. Um, so not only do I get to spend quality time with my kid, but I also um, 
I also get to put like the new me to the test, you know, and you know, I'm still, I know you guys, it's been a year and a half, but it, I'm still amazed at how much more I can do now than I could a few years back. And, you know, so I appreciate you guys listening to me and humbling me and complimenting me and I'm not doing it. I don't do it for the accolades. That was not ever what it was about. I mean, it's great. It's great to look good and feel good, but honestly, I I did the whole weight loss journey was for my health, you know, and you know, I feel like I've got that by the balls right now. So I'm excited. And with that, you guys, I'm going to go. Peace.